Okay, so I haven't been covering many accessories on the channel lately, but I am kind of back to it. And this time around, what I have here is quite possibly the best accessory you will need for your Mac Mini. This here is a Mac Mini dock, and this particular one is made by a company called Satechi. And to be specific, they actually call this a stand hub for Mac Mini with SSD enclosure for Mac Mini, which is kind of a mouthful there, but I'm just gonna call it a Mac Mini dock for the purpose of this video, or Mac Mini hub. Quick background here, and some of you may know this already, but I do own a Mac Mini, and it's pretty much maxed out in terms of specs, but I always run into two main issues. And the first one being with the ports or the lack thereof. There is one thing that many people have complained about on the Mac mini and also other Mac devices and that is the ports. They just aren't nearly enough for even the average user. The second issue here is despite being a maxed out machine in terms of specs, I still run out of storage space, of internal storage, given that I use it as my main machine and kind of my main desktop for YouTube. And since YouTube requires for me to obviously make tons of videos, you would imagine that I easily run out of space. So then comes the Satechi Mac Mini dock here, which I have been using over the past week or so in order to remedy those situations that I just mentioned, and it's been fantastic. I mean, I knew it was going to be very useful, but I just never realized just how much it would get rid of all of the inconveniences that I was going through, especially when it came down to like, you know, data transfer or data extraction and all that good stuff. So, and oh, by the way, if this is your first time visiting, well, welcome to the channel, of course. I'm really hoping that you're enjoying the content so far. And if you are, again, I truly appreciate that. Please do me a huge favor, hit both the like and the subscribe button there. It's a tremendous boost to this channel here. And again, very, very much appreciated. So full disclosure here, Satechi actually sent me this unit for review, but as always, of course, and you know this already, this is not a sponsored video. And everything I share here with you is literally my genuine opinion. So on that note, I also want to give a major shout out to Satechi for sending this review unit because it's actually turning out to be very useful. Anyway, so extracting and loading or transferring data has always been kind of a multi-step process for me using just the super limited amount of ports that you have with the Apple Mac mini. And in case you don't know, it actually does come only with two USB type A. And one of them is actually already taken in my case by my wireless mouth. So I'm pretty much obligated to use just the other one for everything else. And I can tell you that the amount of plugging, then unplugging, then plugging back in and plugging something else in and unplugging is just ridiculous because most things that I have actually use USB type A. Not only that, it gets pretty tough given where my Mac mini is located. It's right in the middle section of my desk there and it's kind of tight to get my hands through in there and it's always a struggle, you know, to try to plug in and unplug things, especially given that everything is on the back of the machine itself, on the back of the Mac mini. Now, why don't we actually go over the Satechi device itself just so that you can see how it helps remedy the situations or the problems that I just mentioned. And this is going to be a very quick unboxing because it's a pretty straightforward device with no extra accessories needed. I mean, the device itself is the accessory, right? So out of the box here, you will simply get the dock and a quick start guide. And at first glance, I noticed that it's a pretty thin device, which is really good for me given where I'll be storing the combo of this device and my Mac mini, which as I mentioned, is a pretty tight space in the middle of my desk. I also very much appreciate the fact that this thing is actually silver and goes very well with my Mac mini. It just blends very well and keeps everything uniform. I know my OCD would probably kick in if it was a different color. It has these pretty nice air vents here for airflow, which is good to have, but we all know that the M1 chip has just a way of handling heat especially on these Mac mini that is just, you know, unheard of. But anyway, it's a pretty cool design and the USB type C that you have here plugs into the back of the Mac mini. It's pretty straightforward. And then all you just have to do is have your Mac mini sit on top of this after you've plugged it in. It has a number of ports that you can see here in addition to what you have on the back of your Mac mini already. So you get a USB type C port. The next ones would be three USB type A five megabit per second, by the way, which I desperately needed since I have quite a few things, as I mentioned earlier, that only use USB type A. 
then you have a headphone jack, you'll get a combo of an SD card slot and a micro SD card slot. This is epic because my videos obviously shot are stored on an SD card, but my audio from my recorder is actually stored in the micro SD card. So it's very nice to have it on this thing. More importantly, very nice to have all of this on the front of the device itself because I've always used an adapter to plug in the back of the Mac mini in order to transfer. Now here's what I think is one of the most important parts of this accessory. It is the SSD card enclosure that we have here integrated with this guy. At the bottom here, as you can see, you have a little slot that you can open in order to access where you can add that extra amount of storage. And this truly is epic because you are doing so without any additional friction, right? Now, it's not really adding anything to your workflow. If anything, it's actually making things more convenient for you. Since you have everything incorporated here, it's pretty much as if you were increasing the storage of your Mac mini directly, you know, within the Mac mini, even though you're doing it through this accessory. I personally have a two terabyte portable hard drive that I bought a while back that I still use and because it still works pretty well. And I have been using it using the USB type A so far for data transfer, you know, if I need to access like many of my old videos that I kept stored in there. And also on this note, it is worth noting that as far as my editing goes, I still use my Mac mini built in internal storage because as I mentioned, it's maxed out. So I do have enough space in there, but more importantly, because of the speed that I get with an integrated SSD coming straight from Apple. So this hub is being literally used just as a, an accessory. But again, the option for an SSD to be integrated is just a very nice one to have that I'm pretty sure I will use eventually. And with all of that being said, of course, as I already said, which is what I do, but the quickest and fastest way to transfer your data, if you are all about speed, is always going to be to directly plug in to your Mac mini itself, right? So this hub truly offers mainly convenience and you know extra ports that plays into that whole convenience thing. So it's very, very nice to have this. But again, for speed, you would have to go directly with the Mac mini itself. But anyway, that's all I had for you today. I certainly hope that this was informative. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I will catch you in the comment section and I'm also gonna catch you in the next video. And up until then, of course, as always, stay safe out there.